Okay, I've got my uh, gear here uh, ready to, uh, well, to prime. Um, I'm going to just use the epoxy on this. The epoxy is supposed to be capable of being uh, done directly to bare metal. So, uh, and there's no real um, uh, limitations that they talk about related to that. So I'll, I'll take a chance and we'll see how this goes. Uh, I've sanded up here and the uh, shifter bowl with uh, 400 grit and uh, knocked out some of the nicks and scratches and that and uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, I decided uh, I might as well spray these uh, somebody had suggested that uh, I do paint them even though they're embedded in the door they said that if you uh, paint them the uh, windows will uh, move more smoothly so I cleaned them up with uh, some 220 and a uh, nylon uh, wire wheel in, a, uh, in an angle grinder. So I'm going to go and induce my epoxy and then I guess in uh, an hour I can spray this stuff. Okay, there's about 35 minutes till the primer is finished inducing so I've just been kind of fiddling around. I went and I, uh, I gave this a little bit more of a sand here. I wasn't too happy. It looked a little bit more... Uh, chip than I thought. I also stuck a piece of paper towel into the uh, trans uh, shifter uh, you know opening there. So anyways had some problems here. It didn't seem to want to dry out and I'm assuming that was still grease so I hit it some brake cleaner and that's seems to have taken away most of it but uh, apart from that just fiddling around now it's one of those situations. Looking at this thing and trying to figure out how it installed, had to look at the instructions, it's actually pretty simple. So, put that in as soon as the column gets back in, which I'll do this week. Uh, apart from that, I think once I spray, I'll go in back in the house and uh, not do much else. Once the column is in, I'm going to do the uh, vent window rebuilds, put them in, and uh, and stuff the doors. And once that's done, then I'll put the weather stripping in, and then I will continue with the alignment. But I might as well cover this thing back up again until I'm done spraying. And uh, waste another 30 minutes. Okay, there you go. Two coats of uh, epoxy on everything. And uh, no runs that I can see, so I'm happy about that. I don't really see the signs of the the uh, tips there, or at least on the shifter, where, which is where it was most prominent, so I'm pretty happy with that. That was my attempt at back taping, and I think I better remove it before this stuff sits up too much, because it looks like it's just acting like a dam for some of the uh, uh, epoxy. So I'll do that, and I guess I'll... I'll call it a blend, but fortunately this is all covered with a bracket, so it's not a big deal. Okay, it's uh, all done. Uh, two coats of uh, single stage black on the, uh, on the uh, bottoms of the window frames. I don't think I said that those were windows, but I took it for granted that that was obvious, so I'll say it now. Uh, three coats on the uh, shifter bowl. And on the top part of here, there's a few runs on this part here, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. There is one sag that you may or may not be able to see right there, but that's on the bottom. So I am not going to panic about that. I did have one run in the uh, primer right here, and I used uh, Darren's tape trick to take that off while it was still wet. And, uh, and then I... Uh, hammered on this uh, single stage so uh, hopefully that won't show too bad I think it looks okay I think I'm getting pretty fussy on this stuff I'm also pushing my luck with this uh, painting this time of year I think it's just getting too cold it's just too hard to keep the temperature up in here I actually just turned the blowtorch off so anyways I'm going to knock off leave the blowtorch going for another hour or two and uh, hope that's enough to let this stuff uh, cure well enough and then we'll see what we do tomorrow. I may come out and if this stuff seems like it's uh, handleable, I'll, uh, I'll take it all down. I'm going to, 
I really should pull this masking off here, but I think I'll wait until it's dry and I'll live with whatever happens underneath the tape here. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Oh, and just a quick update on the snow around here. Didn't drift much more uh, from last night. That was about it. It really just was around the cars because I guess it's a dead spot in the wind. I thought about snow blowing, but, uh, but I walked out to the end of the driveway and there's, you know, there's almost no snow to see. It's all just ice under there. So, no point waste of money. So anyways, it's actually kind of a nice night. It's not too windy. Gonna be probably a little bit of a cool night. Yeah, this thing can't focus on the moon because it's not too bright. But uh, anyways, now it won't refocus. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna head in and uh, have something to eat.